Wrestling Alternative NWA Wildside. Stephen Prezak once again joined by John Johnson. How can I miss you if you don't go away? Well, let me tell you something. Speaking of going away, we're not going anywhere. Right now, we've got an exciting match opening up this week's edition of NWA Wildside. We're talking about two guys who used to be tag team partners as the Carolina Connection. Highly decorated tag team here in Wildside. But when number one title contendership is up for grabs, all of a sudden the friendship eh, might go out the window or maybe not. Well, the friendship, it seemingly went out the window two weeks ago, Praise Zach, when uh, Jeremy V and Brandon P kind of reunited the Carolina Connection, fell victim to the Texas Treats. And um, Jeremy V felt pretty frustrated, I guess, in the match and walked away from Brandon P. But how ironic that they end up here this week, number one contendership for the television title. Yeah, it was a frustrating time for Jeremy V. But, I mean, V's had more than a few share of losses, very high-profile losses. You know, over his life, and I dare believe V is definitely a mature enough athlete to take the, the, those losses with a grain of salt, realizing it's part of the, the big picture, you know? And right now, the former tag team partners just kind of filling each other out here, just looking for that, uh, that opening that they need to take the advantage in this match. And Jeremy V is going for the number one contendership of a title that he's very familiar with, a title that he lost the technician Todd Sexton back at Christmas Chaos. That is Jeremy V, of course, one time won that World TV title from, oh, I'll tell you, the Soul Assassin Rain Man. I'll tell you what, one of the, one of just an, one of incredible accomplishments in the young career of Jeremy V. And uh, yeah, a frustration, uh, yes, it is, it is an, an, a part of any professional wrestler's career. It's going to happen many times. And uh, these guys are in their infancy, these careers are in their infancy. As many impressive things that we've seen from both Brandon P and Jeremy V, the best is yet to come. And right now, uh, Brandon P getting the best of Jeremy V as he has him there in that sitting front chancery. Brandon P's worked to sell back up to a vertical base, holding on to Jeremy V. Jeremy V trying to fight out. And now it looks like Brandon P was going for a suplex. Jeremy V fought out of it. And here we go. Right back to that side headlock. Jeremy V has found himself on the mat a lot here in the opening moments of this contest, Prezak. I'll talk about two athletes who are so close to each other at one time. They know each other's moves inside and out. The, the familiarity factor is, I mean, through the roof, which is going to make this quite the ultimate test for both these athletes. What's it going to take? I mean, they both know each other's strengths. They both know each other's weaknesses. And need to take advantage of both. And right now, Jeremy V off the ropes. Going back in, Brandon P leapfrog. Jeremy V turns around, kick to the abdomen. Sends P in, P going to the top rope. Looked like he was attempt, attempting some kind of a kick there, missed. And Jeremy V, maybe a mistake not going in for the kill right no, there. No, I think V knows there's plenty of life left in Brandon P. You don't want to be uh, jumping into something that perhaps might bite you in the butt. And, but, I mean, whenever you got any small opening, you take advantage of it. You always kick a man when he's down because he's closer to your feet. Oh, uh, kicking a man when he's down is not exactly the CV of Jeremy V. Well, it needs to be. Oh, well, it's not going to happen, my friend. I mean, Regardless, hey, Jeremy V has got enough incredible moves in his arsenal. He doesn't need to resort to such tactics. But a swift kick, though, from Brandon P. Swung Jeremy V. Oh, check that. A drop kick that did not hit its mark. Brandon P. Held on. And now look at Brandon P. Making the mistake, not going in for the kill. And Jeremy V. Okay. frustrated. Oh, damn, that frustration needs to keep that in check. And right now, both men circling each other. Back to the collar and elbow tie-up. And right there, Jeremy V moved his man back into the corner. Whoa! And right there, a good move by Jeremy V. What a but uncharacteristic of V to, with a forearm for a man in his corner. Boy, chopping the life out of his former tag team partner. V opening up now on Brandon P. Uh, P responding in kind, it looks like. Now, you see, this is what I'm talking about. That's what these two need to do. Throw the rule book out the window. Throw the friendships out of the window. Hey, to quote a great man, a friend in need is a pest. Uh, I, think, I, I think a wino once said that. Are you right? But regardless, as V taking Brandon P out of the picture, perhaps a slowing down the momentum of uh, Brandon P, also slowing down the momentum of Jeremy V in the attempt. Looks like both V and P. Oh, V charging with a shoulder. And a Brandon, sun, Sunset flip from uh, Brandon P. No go. And V says like an opportunity there. That also did not pay off. 
Going Eight. back for a backslide there, Prezak. A backslide from Brandon Pina. Roll up from V. Keeping now, referee Mike Posey on his toes, that's for sure. Now, right now, what Jeremy V needs to do is look the tights. Oh, look the tights, please. Oh, double noggin knocker right in the center of the ring. Sends both men down. Mike Posey starting the 10 count right now. I'll tell you, both athletes thinking so much alike. A lot going on at stake here. There's an opportunity for World TV title contention hanging in the balance. This is an opportunity that Brandon P has never, ever had. This is something that Jeremy V's had before and lost. He's got to get it back. And the way to do it, defeating Brandon P here tonight, does V have it? V is hungry. V knows he was the better member of the Carolina Connection. The better member? He was the better member of the Carolina Connection. Oh, I thought connection. it was pretty even, a, even combination of talents, V asked me, regardless. And right now, Jeremy V up and over has his part, has his former partner, excuse me, Brandon P. Went for right there. P blocks it. I think V was going for a VDT. Or the VKO, I check that. Boy, Jeremy V slipping out of Brandon P's grip. A roll up. And a handful of tights! What? What on earth? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Jeremy V! A handful of tights by Jeremy V, pinning Brandon P. Well, it's, a victory is a victory, regardless. Well, Jeremy V may not be as dumb as he looks, doing what you got to do to win. I have fought Jeremy V. Great win here in the middle of the ring here on NWA Moffat, a young man that we have seen here on NWA Wildside Television several times in some very competitive situations. A man who has amassed a lot of frequent flyer miles throughout North America, a very, very dangerous competitor in the ring. Caprice Ice Coleman has been on a roll as of late, but he cannot underestimate the ability of one chance profit. Frankly, you don't want to underestimate the abilities of anybody in our talented wild side locker room. But as Caprice Coleman, who is often finding himself in, in title pictures and title contention pictures, is looking forward to putting himself in prime contention for perhaps Onyx's World Heavy Wild Side Heavyweight Championship or perhaps back into World TV title contention. The matchmakers of NWA Wildside know that Caprice Coleman has got it in gargantuan amounts. It's only a matter of time, and a short time indeed, that Caprice Coleman will once again find himself champion here at NWA Wildside. Well, he's going to have to make it through Chance Profit. I'm sorry. If anybody can do it, Caprice Ice yeah. Coleman can. I will give you credit. This man is very talented. I can't understand what he's saying half the time, but hey. I give the man credit where credit's due. He has been to the mountaintop as, as far as the television title goes. A few, you know, unfortunate, you know, uh, events have uh, gone his way. But this year, 2005, has started off very good, and it could be the year of ice. Caprice Ice Coleman would like nothing more than do just that, as Coleman and Chance Proffer are taking this opportunity to sort of feel each other out, to see what each other is capable of, and Chance Proffer is already showing Caprice Coleman a little uh, modicum of respect. And Coleman knows already that Chance Prophet is a handful and a half. And right there, Chance Prophet suckered Caprice Ice Coleman in, caught him down low. Irish whips him in, but Caprice Ice Coleman reverses it. Up he goes, spinning heel kick. Boy, I tell you, it's like a pair of legs just close lining Chance Prophet. But Prophet taking an opportunity, sweep the legs out from under Caprice Coleman. And right now, hooking him in. Up and over he goes, one, two. Couldn't quite hold on to the pin attempt there. Could Chance Profit has him up. Suplexes him over. Chance Profit definitely showing us his uh, suplex abilities here tonight. Yeah, Caprice Coleman is no lightweight. It's quite an accomplishment on the part of Chance Profit. Well, Chance Profit's no slouch. I mean, the guy's got a, you know, a good physique, dizzy, a decent amount of power right there covered. One, two, the lateral press. It's going to take more than that to defeat the former television champion, Caprice Coleman. And also, Chance Profit in his travels, one of the more world-traveled athletes here at NWA Wildside, has faced competitors of all different types and styles, and is one of the more adaptable ones around. Coleman, is, oh, look at heavens. Caprice Coleman showing some of that adaptable nature of his incredible arsenal, boy, a leg drop right across the chest of Chance Profit. Coleman on top for a pin attempt. Well, you uh, know, you talk about, you know, Caprice Ice Coleman's pedigree. You talk about that 
Winning this match will just propel him further into title contention. But what a chance Profit wins. That's got to put him right in line for a television title shot. Maybe, you know, another title shot somewhere down the line. Oh, that it is. The matchmakers are looking at this match quite closely. Oh, and a swift kick right to the head. And Caprice Coleman goes down on very unceremoniously. And boy, he's a chance Profit is a suplex machine. And right there, Caprice Coleman feeling the effects of that one. Chance Prophet working his way back over to the corner to Caprice Coleman. Definitely a little bit's got to be taken out of Chance Prophet here after that flurry of offense from Caprice Coleman earlier in this match. Forearm shot since Caprice Coleman reeling back into the corner. Chance has him out. Irish puts him in. Hits hard. And a neck breaker right there. Well documented back and neck problems from uh, one Caprice Coleman. And now just trying to get this crowd behind him as he likes to call himself the commentator complicator. And right now the only complications Caprice Coleman has is getting some offense in this match. That it does as Chance Prophet is taking an opportunity to take the momentum he's getting and not letting up on Coleman one bit. No wasted, I'll check that. There's been a waste of time as Coleman gets a leg up. Oh, a picture perfect drop kick with both feet right out of the face of Chance Prophet. But right now, both men are down. I think maybe that trip from the top rope took a little bit out of Coleman. But he's back up, rolls over to his opponent. Turns him over, hooks the leg. One, two. Was only able to get a two count. Chance Prophet had just enough in him to get that shoulder out the back door. Yeah, how much longer he's going to have, as anyone's guess, Col Coleman is just so good. But Chance Prophet wants to prove otherwise. And sends Caprice Coleman reeling. Now, Chance Prophet, what he needs to do is he needs to stop worrying about the fans and stay on his opponent. He's taking way too much time and not putting together a good string of offense. You can't do this with a competitor like Caprice Coleman. Boy, Coleman was some somersaulting out of a bad predicament there. Oh, my. Chance Prophet finding himself at the receiving end of a surprising Caprice Coleman. Offensive flurry as Coleman. Perhaps with designs of putting the old comatoser on Chance Prophet, but you got to soften up the guy in the process. Oh, my! Caprice Coleman, I was going to say, maybe going to, you know, a bit of a mistake going to the top rope. It paid off for him, though. One, two. Just a two count. Caprice Coleman has had a very difficult time putting together a long string of offense. He needs to stop taking so much time as a Chance Prophet. And right now, Caprice Coleman hooking his man in. I'm sure Caprice Coleman would definitely like to take a bit less time in putting together move A, move B, move C, etc. But Chance Prophet is making that awfully difficult. Well, Caprice Coleman had him hooked in there, trying to move him around to the center. Chance Prophet positioned himself around, got to the ropes, and now sends Caprice Coleman reeling through the ropes out here to the arena floor. Both men have been giving it their all so far in this match. Caprice Coleman back to his feet outside the ring. Chance Prophet just waiting on his man as he comes to the ropes. Oh, and caught him with a kick right to the top of the head. Hooks him in. Caprice Coleman fights out of it. Sends his man face first into the knee. Hooks him in. And down he goes to cover one, two, and three. Caprice Ice Coleman takes the win. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Caprice Ice Coleman. A comatoser was the one that did the trick. A very game chance profit, but a very victorious Caprice Ice Coleman.